Happy Sunday morning. Let's squeeze in a story right before we get the day started for real. And what is our book that I brought from the library? Turkey pots. A lot of people are preparing, so this is appropriate. Did you all have any turkey sandwiches over the weekend or maybe you had turkey roast? Well, let's get ready. This is by Lori House Anderson and illustrated by Dorothy Donahue. Turkey pots. Oh, I hope it's not a sick turkey. This book is dedicated to the memory of my grandmothers. That's the truth. Think about your grandmothers. Ah, oh, pleasant memories. Their homes, the smell, the delicious food. Oh, grandmothers are precious. Oh, do we have, let's see, do we have time to do this? The chat fields were late for Thanksgiving. Mom stirred the sweet potatoes and sniffed the Brussels sprouts. She had to finish cooking before they left for Nana's. Dad dumped the laundry into the dryer. He needed a clean shirt. Oh, wow, they were running really behind. Aunt Im Emma Jean tried to get Cousin Fred to finish his bath. Oh, my. <laughs> this is cute. The soap is not poison, she shouted. Don't forget to scrub your feet. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Charity had been ready to go since dawn. Thanksgiving was her favorite day. And Nana's roast turkey was her favorite food. She watched the upstairs clock tick. She scratched her stomach. The downstairs clock chimed. The timer deemed. The dryer buzzed. The bath water gurgled down the drain. Mom loaded the food into boxes and Dad buttoned his shirt. Aunt Imogene chased Fred down the hall. Please get dressed, Freddy, Teddy. Little boys shouldn't eat Thanksgiving dinner in their underwear. Cherry itched her knee. Okay, Let's make a lot of chaos here. After much hustling and bustling, fussing and rushing, Packing, stacking, squeezing and squishing the chat fields and their holiday meal started their journey. Snow filled the sky. Oh, might be in Chicago. Talking about snow in November. The grown-ups talked about the snowstorm. It was hard to see the road. Oh my. Charity itched her knees. Fred made up a song. It's warm in here. Let me see. Let me open this window a little bit. Hold on, guys. Let's enjoy the commute. Oh. All right. Charity's neck looks like a giraffe's. Charity's covered with spots. Charity looks like she took a bath in a tub filled with polka dots. Nobody paid attention. Fred sang louder. Charity itches her hair and her tummy. Charity itches her socks. Charity scratches her ears and her ankles. I think she got chicken pox. Oh, chicken pox is not fun. We don't joke about that. What did you say, demanded Aunt Imogene? She looked at Charity. She has chicken pox, Catherine. Oh my goodness, she got the pox. Stop the car. Oh no. Mom and Dad checked. It was definitely chicken pox. Oh no. Dad turned the car around. Chicken pox belonged at home. Mom called Nana on the car phone. I had chicken pox. I think I was in high school. Woo! And used calamine lotion. Dad made up a bed on the couch for charity. Fred lay right in front of the television so she couldn't see the parades. Aww. Mom and Aunt Imogene, Aunt Imogene, set out the dinner. It's always something. If it's not one thing, it's another, said Aunt Imogene. Look at her. She looks cute. The dressed up in her outfit. Oh. Uh, Charity peeked at the table. There were mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts with walnuts, apple salad, carrot sticks, celery sticks, and olives. Ooh, that sounds like the Friendsgiving that I went to last night. My goodness. Woo. 
There was a basket of muffins and another of crescent-shaped rolls of sweet-smelling pies waited on the sideboard, pumpkin, pecan, and mincemeat. But there was no turkey, no gravy, and no stuffing, not even a spoonful of cranberry sauce. The best part of dinner was stuck at Nana's house. It would be the first Thanksgiving without Nana, the first Thanksgiving without Nana's turkey. Oh, because of chicken pox. Oh, I'm so sorry. Charity stared out the window at the snow swirling shadows. A flashing orange light was creeping toward the house. Charity rubbed her eyes. A low rumble started outside and a second orange light joined the first. More eerie lights whirled and bounced off the living room walls. The rumble grew to a boom and the boom to a roar. The windows rattled. Fred turned around. Oh, I'm so sorry. Aliens on Imogene screen. Aliens have come for our pies. Quick, Catherine, get the garlic, get the broom. Patrick, do something, I'm going to faint. Over the roar, they heard a pounding on the front door. Bang, 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 no one moved. Bang, 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 bang. Mom grabbed Dad's arm. Open up, I have an express delivery of hot turkey out here. How about that? Yes, it's Nana, shouted Charity, opening the door. She came in a snow plow. A blast of wind blew her frosty grandmother into the room. Nana hugged Charity, then stuck her head back outside. Come and get it, boys, she hollered. Aww. <laughs> Look at her cute boots. Nana. Four snowplow drivers, snowplow drivers shuffled in. One man carried a roaster pan steaming with the smell of turkey. Two others held pots. Charity sniffed gravy and stuffing. The fourth driver carefully held a glass bowl filled to the top with crimson cranberry sauce. Nana took off her coat and hat after you called. I looked at that turkey and that turkey looked at me. And just as we started to feel sorry for ourselves, the snowplow caravan came along. We plowed all day with no lunch, said the man holding the cranberry sauce. I made a deal with the fellows, continue. Nana, if they drove me and the rest of the dinner here, I'd make sure they all enjoy a hearty meal. Oh, Nana, you're wonderful. Charity scratched her nose. But what about my chicken pox? Don't worry, said one man. We've all had it. Ah, that's great. Bosh, said Nana. You don't have chicken pox. You have turkey pox. Look here. Charity held her breath while her grandmother lifted the lid off the roaster pan. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it, said Aunt Imogene, huh. the turkey had spots. Nana had dotted its shiny brown skin with cherries stuck on with toothpicks. Nana kissed the top of Charity's head. I hear turkey pops is popping everywhere today. What a precious story. How you can make lemonade out of lemons. You can make <laughs> turkey pops out of Turkey, you can celebrate whatever situation you're in. This was precious. All right, have a beautiful Sunday celebrating the little things in life. And like I said, you might not be in the best situation, but turn it around and you can have woo, a celebration at all times. Good day.